Good morning. Here we are, Thursday, 10.20 a.m. Just another day. <laughs> also, look at how weird my braids got overnight. I always get like this right after I wash them and then braid them. They get like all like bent up and like shrivelly <laughs> instead of long and normal like they are meant to be. This one has like a big bend in it there. Oh well, whatever. So we actually have a pretty chill day ahead, which I love, and I thought I would take advantage of the extra time I have and decorate for fall today a little bit. I have like a ton of little like pumpkins and fall decorations and stuff like that that I have, so definitely want to take advantage of that. I'm like tempted to go walk to Target and shop for some stuff. Maybe, maybe I should. I have to run out anyway. Hmm, what to do, what to do. <laughs> I'm gonna wait until next week and go and do that because I'd rather decorate here first with the stuff that I have and see like if I even want anything else. Also go to Target either way just because might as well go and see if there's anything cute and new that I want, but yeah, that could be fun. Anyway, um, so I just sort of want to work through the morning here and just sort of knock some stuff out, be done by like two o'clock. That would be really nice. And then be able to decorate, work out, have a nice chill afternoon, evening, night. I have no plans, which sounds perfect. <laughs> yes, Miss Molly Cat, you're just popping up to see what mom's doing. Oh, there's my girl. It's a chai kind of morning. I can't even tell you guys how much of a game changer this has been in my life. It is so good. It does come out so hot though. Like I have to wait like a full 15 minutes before I can even drink this. <laughs> Guys, I am seriously in tears reading all of your comments on my vlog. <laughs> my, the vlog that went up today was the one where I was just talking about, you know, how I'm doing and opening up a little bit about struggling. <laughs> and one, it breaks my heart to see all of you struggling as well. And two, it like, you know, makes me so grateful to have you guys and you know so many of you are saying that like me uploading has kept you going through all of these bad days which i can't even tell you how much that means to me most of all just like makes me realize how i'm not alone in in all of these feelings and so many people are feeling this way too another vlog where i'm crying like what is going on <laughs> clearly i'm on the verge constantly nowadays but you know i just want to say thank you guys you guys are always so sweet some these videos are just about my life and so when I'm having a hard day, you know Sometimes I, I just cover it up in the vlog and other days I share it, you know, and this is really what was going on in my mind that day <sighs> I just love you guys so much. I'm so grateful for all of you. I can't even tell you just watching these comments like pour in is Killing me, you know <laughs> I am so ridiculous. I can't even <laughs> I guess most of all, I just want to thank you guys because every single time that I am vulnerable on my videos, 99.999% um, of you are so kind about it and open to just letting me vent to you. Like, actually, I was just talking to Tara about this, and I think she said this, that sometimes talking to the camera is literally like talking to a therapist. And it's weird because then you put it out there for just thousands of people, and anyone in the world could go and see, like, that I was crying that day, which is scary and vulnerable but you know there is something just really therapeutic about just talking out loud about this stuff in general and you know i just know that most of the time you guys really have my back and it makes it so easy to be open and vulnerable with you guys it just makes all the difference where's molly cat <laughs> molly sunny spot time come on i snuggle with her in the sun <laughs> it'll make me feel better not that these are even really tears of sadness but you know, hi, come here. Come here, baby. Yeah, come on. Oh, big stretch? Yeah, I'm gonna give you your sunny spot. Come on. Come along with me, over here. You know what's about to happen. There you go, how's that? How's that? Is that good? Hi, good girl. Oh, yeah, you're just laying with mama. I love you. Yes, you always make everything better even though you lose a shit ton of hair every time I pet you. <laughs> yes, my entire life covered in cat hair because of you. Yeah, but I don't mind. Okay, it's 2 p.m. I'm feeling like overwhelmed. Connor called me, I spoke to him for a while, then my mom called me, I spoke to her for a little while, and it just like has totally 
um, change the course of my day here. I'm gonna be working later than I thought, but that's okay. Nothing that we can't get done, but it is 2 p.m. So I need to just make some lunch. As I said, I think I'm just gonna make a veggie bowl, have some leftover rice, so that's easy. Oh yeah, I had this tofu that I was going to fry up, but shoot, maybe not now. How do I? Uh, I just want something quick. So maybe I save the veggie bowl for dinner, but then what can I have for lunch? That salad, I can make that and have that today and tomorrow. Yes, that's it. All right, just like that, salad is complete and I'm definitely gonna have to work through lunch today to you know, try to get some more done finally. Well, remember when I said I was gonna be done with work at two? Joke was on me because <laughs> it is now 6.30 p.m. Fun stuff. <laughs> But that is okay. You know, I was gonna get a workout in today and I still thought that maybe I would even though it's a little bit later, but I'm just having really bad cramps. I just got my period yesterday and like, I just am not feeling well at all because of it. Yeah, so I guess since it's already a little bit later, we're gonna make dinner pretty soon, but I just want a drink to like decompress from this day. <laughs> We're still working our way through this Sauve Blanc. We're gonna do a nice thick pour today, I think. Yeah, all right. <laughs> this is really good, actually. I really, really like this wine. All right, guys, I'm gonna check out This Is Paris tonight, I think. Very curious to see what this documentary is. I've heard a lot about it. A lot of people were sort of raving about it, so very curious. You guys, I literally just remembered that I said I was gonna decorate for fall today. Well, we have to do it. It's only 6.54 right now. I've already almost finished this glass of wine, but. Let's pour another and let's decorate. I don't do that much for fall, so it'll take like literally probably 15 minutes max. <laughs> I'm gonna get changed though, like I'm a little cold. I just stayed in this, I accidentally stopped recording. <laughs> anyway, just stayed in this giant t-shirt all day, which is sort of unlike me. I usually sleep in a giant t-shirt and then like put on something else, but I am getting a little chilly now, so I'm gonna get changed. Literally such a process getting to my holiday bin, but we've got it. Oh, I'm so excited for Christmas. I know it's absolutely not Christmas yet, but I just see so many fun Christmas things. I even have leftover candles from Christmas. Oh, look at this, an autumn harvest candle. And I'm actually very proud of myself because when I was putting my Christmas decorations away, I put all of my fall stuff on top of the Christmas stuff. That way I could just get to it easily without having to dig through a ton of other stuff. So this should be extremely simple. Plus like literally there's really not much here at all, but let's do it. Okay, we have this little pumpkin bowl, which I definitely am gonna need to get some candy corn for. And then really these three other pumpkins. And I really think that that's absolutely it. Okay, I'm just gonna put this bin away. That way I can close that closet and not have to worry about Molly going in there. Okay. Okay, so here is the plan. Actually, let me turn some more lights on. I mean, this is literally the most Basic setup that could possibly happen, so let's do it. <laughs> so I do like keeping this little guy on the table because I put candy in there so it's like you can grab it from the couch. And then I think I wanna put this guy over here and I'm gonna switch his candle. I usually keep a smaller candle on my table. Excuse me, Molly. <laughs> but I'm gonna move this over here. I'm gonna put the fall candle over here. And then I honestly think I'll like keep this little guy over here too and we can just have two candles here. Yeah, like I think all of these sort of look good together. This guy, oh my God, I just opened it, it smells amazing. Okay, and then the rest of the stuff goes on here. So we have this little brown pumpkin. Actually, this is supposed to go here, so two candles. Hmm. A smaller candle on this side and we can do this brown pumpkin over here. Like this sort of tucked back there. Cute. Okay, and then my big white pumpkin goes over here, so I move my vase. And this usually gets plugged in where these lights are, but then I put these here at Christmas and never took them down, so what are we gonna do? Actually, I have an idea. I think we can just have both. It's gonna be so bright and pretty. And look at how cute this is, like it has a little face in it, and when it's all lit up, it looks so cute. I wish you guys could see Molly. She's literally just like stretched out so long on the floor. <laughs> Molly Cat, what are you doing? So let's turn these lights on and then this can stretch across 
here. And I'm pretty sure, yes, these are the kinds of lights that you can plug into each other. So they can both get plugged in to this bottom one. Okay, yes, I think they're on. Oh, yay! Look at how pretty. Yes. So I'm just remembering that I used this like prop book that I got in a PR package from the It 2 movie to like prop that up because it looks sort of like spooky and old. So let's see if we can find that. I don't know if I, I can imagine. Oh. oh, yes, here it is. <laughs> a history of old dairy, something that I would never ever keep but like on this side it just looks like a sort of like spooky halloween book Ooh. <laughs> i just like getting some height here like i feel like it looks sort of weird i don't know short so we'll put this on there this goes here this candle there how's this look over there is good i have like all this random crap i have to clean up too but cute you guys i think i really like this it looks cute Cute. I love it. So fun. I can't wait to have some candy in here. Got to go get some candy corn. Right, Molly Cat? Are you playing with your hair tie? Come here. Ready? Go get it. <laughs> Guys, how cute is this? Like, I know it's simple. Like, I don't know. Fall time is not really, like, a time when I really care about decorating. <laughs> I'm not super into Halloween. It's just never really been my you know thing personally but big fan of these like little touches that just make you feel like oh it's fall it's sort of fun and i keep these up until christmas really so get used to this being the new setup for a couple of months and there you go i mean let's see what time it is <laughs> Yep, it's 7.07 .07 and I realized that I hadn't started decorating at like 7 or 6.55, so 10 minutes later and <laughs> we're decorated. Easy as that. Sort of lame, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna wait like, I don't know, 15 more minutes, then I'm gonna start on dinner. Oh yeah, I forgot that I was gonna get another glass of wine. I definitely want a second tonight. I'm just in the mood for like some drinks. Pineapple Ashland seltzer, seltzer. Well, that's scurrying around is my cat. <laughs> so um, for dinner, I asked Connor what I should make, whether I should make like a rice tofu bowl or pasta, and he voted pasta, so pasta it is. So my idea for this pasta is to do some sort of like creamy red sauce. Okay, I'm gonna try something. I have no idea if this is gonna work, but I think even if it doesn't work, it won't ruin anything, hopefully. <laughs> so I want like this to be a little bit thicker so that it adds like more thickness to the sauce. So I'm going to do some almond milk in this bowl and I want to mix it in with some cornstarch so that when I add it to the heat it will thicken question mark <laughs> sort of whisk this together I just put some oil and some garlic in here now that that's really starting to sizzle I'm gonna add in my arabiata sauce so I threw some pasta water in there and I'm just going to go ahead and dump in my finished pasta now all right, and here goes the experimental part of this meal. The milk, I'm just gonna start with a little bit. Mix that in and see how it starts to look. Oh yeah, that's working, baby. Take a look at this butte. How about just a little bit more? Mix her in. Yes. Gotta get some nooch in there. And this is the finished pasta, you guys. How good does this look? That's looking so amazing. I'm definitely gonna have leftovers, which is a dream. Okay, we have to try this together, you guys, because this is such a creation and I'm so excited. I'm so sad that I don't have any Parmesan cheese, but that's okay, it'll still be amazing. I'm so excited. Mmm. Oh. The perfect amount of spicy and creamy. Ooh, the spice really comes later, but it's good. Mm -hmm. And now it's Friday Night Lights time. <laughs> 